So this is the Sony a7 III and it's, it works very well with the view intervalometer. I'm going to show you how that gets set up. So first we'll start with the camera. We'll go to the menu and um, we want to make sure, let's see, start at the first one here. We'll set this to RAW plus JPEG, RAW type to compressed, JPEG quality to standard, and smallest. So the idea here is that we want the JPEG to be as small as possible because that's what we'll be sending to the, uh, the view. And also we want to make sure long exposure noise reduction is off because that will cause problems with the interval. And in this uh, menu here we'll find USB connection. That should be set to PC remote. The USB power supply that can be on or off but uh, if it's on it will drain the view's battery quite quickly unless you have external power to the view I recommend keeping this off. PC remote settings uh, this is uh, an important new feature with the third gen Sony cameras and we'll set this to PC plus camera and then the RAW plus JPEG PC save image this is talking about which file is sent to the PC or in this case the view so we're going to do JPEG only, that way we transfer the minimal amount and can have as fast of an interval as possible. So we're going to leave uh, that and hook up the view. The A7 III uses a nice uh, USB-C connection, which is a more secure one than the Sony Multi-Terminal, which is a micro USB that's proprietary, kind of proprietary version of that. It's not that nice. So now the camera is connected and I'm just going to start with the fixed with this I don't know, I'll leave it like this. Um, so we're just going to do a quick test here with a 8 second interval but actually we can do quite comfortably be, comfortably do uh, about a 3.5 second interval. So I'm going to set this to 3.6 press start And you can see this this works out really nicely. So I've got the card uh, card in the camera. I don't have a an SD card in the view. The uh, raw images are saving to the camera, and uh, only the small JPEGs are being sent to the view. So this allows us a nice fast interval that's uh, quite reliable, and uh, works works really well. Uh, so this this makes it a very viable camera for for time lapse. Uh, with even pretty good intervals even for uh, exposure ramping. So I'll cancel this and that's it. So once you get those settings correct as shown uh, that way we, what we walked through in the beginning of this video once those are correct uh, it works really well and is very reliable. I don't recommend using uh, Wi-Fi when this works so well. In fact it's faster than Wi-Fi. So the USB-C cable um, get the settings right on the camera and uh, it should work great.